Welcome! In front of me is a Google Pixel Fold and today I will show you how you can import your contacts from the SIM card to the device. So to get started, locate your contact application, the standalone version of it. So for me it is right over here. Disregard this, you shouldn't really be seeing that. Um, so by default you will see this page right over here. With your contacts, if you are logged into a Google account, it will probably be pulling them and showing them to you. So to import contacts from your SIM card, we will navigate to Fix and Manage. Now before I do so, I'm just going to quickly point out one thing. Right here where there is a T, and that's for the Google account, when I tap on it, it right now just gives me the Google account um, that I am logged into, where it's pulling the contacts, and doesn't give me any other option. The reason I'm pointing that out is because once I import contacts, there will be a new option there. So let's go to fix and manage and then import from SIM. This will then show you all the contacts right here that are located on the SIM card. Uh, if you are importing them to location that already has these contacts, like the Google account that I'm trying to, to do this to, uh, it will deselect all of them and grade them out so you don't import duplicate contacts. But if I change it to something like the device, uh, there was no contacts on the device, hence why this option wasn't even showing in the drop-down that I showed you moments ago. Uh, I can now import all of them. I can also deselect ones that I don't want. From there we can just click on the import button. It will ask us if we want to remove the contacts or keep them. It's a stupid question, obviously you want to keep. The reason it's a stupid question is because these contacts never get in your way and they are always as a backup uh, on your SIM card if you ever will need them. So I recommend keeping them. They get, they don't get in your way and at least you have a peace of mind if you will ever need those. So keep. Um, don't sync, keep off. Now going back to the contacts list, it's still pulling contacts from the Google account. So now I'm gonna click on the little account icon and you can see now we have the device as an option right here. So when I select it, it will show me now all the contacts that I have imported. Now obviously you could import your contacts to your Google account as well if they don't already exist on that account. So that's completely up to you where you will be importing the contacts to. I couldn't do that to my Google account because they already existed on that account. Anyway, with that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.